everyone, it's Lizzie. This video is actually one that I didn't think that I would be making quite so soon. I thought it would be one that I would make eventually, sometime, because it is something I want to talk about. However, I'm making it sooner than I'd originally planned because I do believe that by talking about it, we can, in fact, eventually, hopefully, reduce the stigma that surrounds mental illness and mental health issues because I think that once we start talking about it, it's going to stop being something that's unknown and unspoken of. There is a fear of the unknown and rightly so because knowledge is power. So if we talk about it and we spread information and knowledge, then hopefully it won't be so scary anymore. And it can be part of everyday conversations and things that people do engage with and will accept and understand. So apologies if I seem a little off in this video, it's because I am quite nervous and I'm glad I've made notes to keep me on track. Last year I found myself struggling a fair bit and I know that in life everyone will face struggles of some kind and uh, I mean I had before as well but for some reason this time it felt like a little bit harder to just get past it. So I did something about it. And that led me to find out that I have anxiety. I was told that I have both general and social anxiety. The social anxiety didn't surprise me that much, but I did also kind of attribute it to just being an introvert. I didn't realize it was part of anxiety issue. And on one hand, I thought, oh my gosh, anxiety is a mental health issue. That's really scary. And I just, you know, I just thought that I, I worry a lot, I do stress a lot, and I overthink things to the point of creating a problem that wasn't even there. And I stress about that and it makes me feel sick. But on the other hand, it was as if a huge weight was lifted off my shoulders because it wasn't like I needed to feel this way. I could be happier, I could feel better, I didn't have to be worrying and stressing and panicking so much. I didn't even know that I was having panic attacks. I just called them like, like my little freak outs or something until I described what they were and they said, yeah, that's a panic attack. And I'd heard about panic attacks, but I didn't know that what I had, because it was on a smaller scale, was still considered a panic attack. I'm saying panic attack like every second phrase. And that relief came from knowing that what I was experiencing or dealing with was in fact a mental illness. It wasn't something that was happening in my head and it was something that I can now learn about and deal with and get better from. Not necessarily something you're going to be cured of or whatever, but if you know what you have and then you can learn and understand, accept it and move on, you know? This is kind of contradictory because I have been told that I'm unapproachable and I accredited that to the fact that I'm an introvert, um, I'm shy and I'm quiet. But now I also know it could be because of my social anxiety and my tendency to withdraw from crowds. Having said that, there have been a number of people who have contacted me through social media and in person to talk about mental health issues, regardless of the fact that I have never mentioned that I have any. I'm mentioning this because it actually makes me really happy when people want to talk to me about these kinds of things because I do think that I'm a good listener and I think that I can give some good advice sometimes. I'm on Tumblr a lot so if you ever do want to talk that's where you'll find me. And you can also talk to me anonymously on Tumblr and you don't even have to have an account. I see a lot of people struggling with feelings of being useless and of worthlessness. While this sounds cliche, no one can be you. Only you can bring you. Because nobody else can bring what you have. Even if you feel like you're useless, you're worthless, you don't have any talents, you're certainly not alone in feeling like that. I do, however, believe that one day you will find what your talent is or whatever it might be and you'll be so thankful that you didn't stop trying to find out what it was. Because I feel that regardless of who you are or where you are in your life, that you have something that no one else in the world has. Everyone has something different. You might actually have something that someone else has, but you can bring it in a different way than they can. So in that fact, you are still bringing something new. And I don't feel that I have to believe that to get me through life or anything. I honestly believe that. And I'm still searching to find whatever it is that I have that I can bring 
and it will be amazing to find out what that is. Just before I finish up, I want to say that if you don't feel like you, or not as happy as you think you could be, there is no shame in admitting this or seeking help somewhere. And if I can, I want to urge you to do that. Seek that help from someone, whether it's a counsellor at school, a teacher, your parents, your friends, or if you don't want to talk to anyone that you actually know, there are a couple of organisations that you can go to to find some help. One of my absolute favourite organisations is To Write Love On Her Arms. And if you've never checked out To Write Love On Her Arms, I recommend you do that because they have an amazing Tumblr, Instagram, Facebook page and website. If you're in Australia, I recommend checking out Beyond Blue because they are a great organisation and they do some amazing work. However, if you're 12 to 25, there is an organisation that I didn't know anything about until last year when I was recommended to check them out and they are fantastic. They're called Headspace. Their online facilities and centres are just amazing and they don't even feel like offices. They are really welcoming and all of the staff um, are just really lovely and they're really easy to get along with and talk to. So even if you're scared to make a phone call like I am on a number of occasions, it's absolutely worth doing and uh, I will leave the links to all three of those organisations in the description if you want to check any of them out and yeah. I just recommend you do because then even if you don't use them, you can recommend them to someone else and it's totally worthwhile knowing about them. Anyway, that's it for this video. But thank you so much if you watched to the end. It really means a lot to me. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you want to contact me anywhere, if it's on Tumblr anonymously or you want to use Twitter or anything else, my social media links are in the description along with organisation links and websites. I hope you're having a lovely day and I hope I see you again in my next video. Bye!